hello guys in this video I wanted to show you how to use Microsoft Excel and SPSS softwares to solve ANOVA or analysis of variance let us start analysis of variance table for the following paracry production of data for three varieties of weight is grown on the four plots and state if the variety difference are be significant Okay, how to solve F coefficient or variance of ratio by using Excel and SPSS ANOVA variety and output variety A, B, C and the output for A is Z this value B for okay, C are given now how can we solve this problem to solve this problem we can use two type of software for this video one excel the other spss okay the number of output is four for a b c are the same so let us do first by excel and second by uh, spss now first let us do it by Excel. Let me open the Excel. This is a Microsoft Excel. Okay. And the data, what I've shown here is this one, this value A output B and here is this value. Variety ABC and the output. Now, to solve this problem, the first thing what I'm going to do is that I'll go to data in the Excel and in the data menu I do have analysis data analysis and in the data analysis you will go to ANOVA ANOVA a single factor okay then you will enter the value okay from this one to this one will be given again I'll go grouping by column no it's grouping by rows here so I'll click rows and I'll get go back and check my selection here okay it's okay now group it by rows then output here I'll click output let me select my output area say let me uh, select around this one let me select this area for this purpose again the remaining is uh, an over single factors input range is given here I've done like this one again and grouped by row okay it's checked and output option checked output option is given here okay now click OK. Another single factor input range contain non numerical data. OK. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, what I did is that to be, it is okay. I did one thing. Okay, another single. I checked this value. Okay, select this value, and again group by row, and check the level levels in the first column. Now, tell this one. The first column and this one is leveled that means it will ignore as if it were not uh, uh, the numerical 
that means it is string so it's possible to do that so let us check the result here let me cancel this one cancel okay here if you check the result here okay within a second it is grouped the group abc and the count number one two three four 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 the summation the summation of this number for example if you check this number six seven okay uh, is 13 13 16 16 24 okay like this one and average and variance of each value is given directly calculated then the other is ANOVA the ANOVA BTUN here BTUN group in the group okay BTUN group and within the group okay here is 8 and 24 uh, degree of freedom 2 9 11 the variance of 4 and 2.6 and F ratio is 1.5 okay when you compare it with the table value 4.3 it is less than the uh, table value so it is insignificant the effect will be insignificant okay in the same manner we can uh, calculate solve by using okay SPSS okay we have got like this one we can use the, our software like the, by Excel in the same manner we can do by uh, SPSS okay let us click data view here first and go to the Excel in the Excel we have given this value if you use this value okay it doesn't accept let me show you if I copy this one, copy and paste here, mm -hmm. copying the note active here, let me use copy, yeah. copy. copy again, copy. yeah if you go to analysis then compare the mean and one way ANOVA or a single ANOVA okay we don't have the factor okay it doesn't call the string it only calls the uh, number so here if you go to the variable here is string and numeric when you use analysis it only calls the string it doesn't call the uh, it calls the numeric not string okay so what should i do to solve this problem instead of using numbers symbols like a b b c i prefer to use numbers instead of like this one okay instead of a number one and number two number three so let me copy this one and you'll see the difference okay copy and not to confuse let me uh, open the new data okay yeah let me uh, click here okay now let me show you analysis go to compare the mean compare means one ANOVA now instead of two now both va variable one and variable two are opened okay so I can one means factor here two means dependent list so if I click here the ANOVA value will be displayed here okay it's 1.5 okay the degree of freedom is 11 and the sum of the square 
SS is 72,824. And degree of freedom is 11. The mean square is 4 and 2.6. Okay, the F ratio is 1.5. Here in the XL also, in the XL also it is 1.5. So both softwares give us the same results. Okay, the interpretation lays that interpretation, you know, this value, this value 1.5 is less than, okay, 4.3 for 11 degree of freedom. So we have 2 and 9, okay, by comparing the degree of freedom and the F value, we can conclude that it is insignificant. Thank you for uh, watching this video. If you have any question and doubts, write down in the comment box. I'll try to give you the possible answer.